Okay. I don't know, hopefully this. I've done this once already and it wasn't filming. Right, today I want to talk to you about hair colour levels. Um, this is a really important, major important part of understanding what is achievable when colouring your hair. Um, I think a lot of people are so disappointed with the results they get, but that is because they don't understand, which is the thought of the the home hair colour industry, which is why I'm here doing this, um, is that people don't understand the simple fact of the hair colour levels and what the numbers mean. You need to know where you sit, as in hair colour level, whether it's your natural hair colour or whether it's hair colour that is coloured with a colour and whether those are different and what you're trying to achieve. It's really important and then what colour you're going to pick. So I'm going to start with uh, the semi-permanent colours with no peroxide and what you would use if you're going to use a semi-permanent hair colour. So as I said, these colours have no peroxide and what I'm talking about are like these colour effects. So these are, I mean, they're, they're a majorly un, um, underestimated, unspoke about, like they're not hyped up enough, uh, part of the, of the hair colour industry. Um, probably because they're not expensive and they're not a money maker. But as far as your hair's concerned, these are like, you, these are an essential part of your of your hair colour experience. So because these colours don't have peroxide in, they can't lift or change the depth or the hair level, your hair colour level. So bear in mind that this is here. So let's say, for example, you are a natural dark blonde. Now, I will try and get some of these swatches on the site for people to, for you to be able to use because uh, dark blonde is actually darker than what a lot of people think. So I, I need to get some swatches so you can see, but dark blonde, okay, so like this is a dark blonde color. Six, seven is um, warm chocolate brown, which actually on the chart is a dark blonde. So there's probably more of you that are dark blonde than what you actually realize. So 6.7, is for anyone that is a dark blonde and down. I personally wouldn't put any of these on an 11, that's white platinum. If your hair gets to 11, it's, it's probably pretty much breaking off, it will be porous, it will grab onto any, any of these sort of things. You just really wanna be working on the conditioner, condition and the moisture of your hair. I'd be very wary about what you put on if, you, if your hair gets to an 11. Not many people get there. Um, so anyone from a six to a 10, you could use 6.7. On my Instagram, there are lots of videos where I have done this. It is quite copper, but it does give the hair a nice shine. Then we have the 734. So if you are a seven to a 10, you can use that. Then you've got an eight one, and then you've got a nine. And basically, all these do is they keep the level, color, hair color level the same, but they change and add tone to the hair. They also add shine. Because the color molecule sits, it's like a ball that sits on the outside of the hair, it actually, I think, makes the hair feel a little bit thicker. It sort of fills in the gaps. So, you know, like you would have seen in my other video where the hair cuticles sit like like this and the, the and the the semi-permanent molecules sit like that on the outside of the hair so as you can see if that's coating the hair it's going to make the hair feel a bit thicker it's going to make it look shinier it's going to make the condition look better because it's literally filling in the gaps uh, this will only last two to six washes because it's a semi-permanent color but these are essential. Like there is a there is a four in the semi in these color effects. If you have a uh, let's say for example you have you're a base four and you color your hair a base four, what some people don't realize is that you can put your base four on the root. You should never keep putting it through to the ends because what a permanent hair color does is puts your hair through a whole chemical process because it's going in to permanently change your hair color. 
to cover grey hair. But the hair from here down that's already got the colour on doesn't need to go through that process. What you need to do is do the purple colour on the root to change to, to, to permanently change the grey hair. Then you would use something like this or even a demi-permanent colour to add in a molecule which isn't putting the hair through the whole process. I honestly, if I had dark brown hair, I'd be using a base 4 permanent hair colour and then I'd be getting the 4 of the colour effects every couple of weeks putting that through my hair. Your hair will be in amazing condition because you're just, you're just constantly coating your hair with colour pigment.